So for today, we're going to be looking at the Veteran Legend sets for the Hunters. If you guys know, we've already done the review video and the Shady video. They're both right here. For this video, we're going to be essentially taking individual pieces from the Veteran Legend set and then making individual sets from those pieces. Now, granted, I'm only going to be making four sets because if I do five sets, it's kind of unfair to the other two classes because Hunters, it's easy to make a set with the class item because theirs is so big. Um, Titans, it's the second easiest for sure, but it's still pretty rough. And then Warlocks is the roughest one. Like sometimes making a bond, like a set out of a bond is just not feasible because sometimes it's a kind of like a boring bond. So that is usually why I make four sets for each class. So that way it's fair for everyone because usually I'll combine two pieces of the same set in a set. So that way it's easier for the Titans and Warlocks. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, really do appreciate it because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub, considering I think I post a lot of content for being a fashion channel, specifically just for one game too. It's just fashion for one channel. So if I ended up going for other games, like specifically Final Fantasy 14, uh, Warframe, I feel like I'd be posting so much content. So I definitely do think I deserve the the support so let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all let's just get into it so to start off we're going to be using the helmet now this is funny considering there is a mistake in this set and i will explain it shortly but for the helmet obviously veteran legend cast for the arms lux sleeves for the chest piece prodigal vest for the exotic stompies base look and then neoteric kiot cloak so i ended up basically cheaping out because this is a set that i've done before uh specifically on a helmet set as well when I get a helmet that's very Hunter-esque, I always try to do this set first just to see, like, gauge if it looks good or not. And I think this will be the last time I do that because I, I am starting to think it's not good for me to do that. I feel like it's... I always cop out for it. So this will be the last time you see this set. If we get another helmet uh, that is just, like, a Hunter-ass helmet, I'll probably try to do something else with it. For the shadering, Bitter Pearl for the Veteran Legend cask is a good choice because it takes off colors and with the Gift of the Nine, I think it turns it all black, which I was like, I don't want that. Um, Gift of the Nine for everything else. That being said, Cryptic Insignia should not be uh, there. It should be Gift of the Nine. I don't know why Cryptic Insignia got uh, chosen. I might have switched out the arms for something else and didn't notice the shader was different. Um, that being said, this also brings up a conversation of like, are you the type of player that likes to have a guardian with a very pristine looking shader or an armor set that looks like it's actually been worn? Because for me, I like a like an armor set that looks like it's been worn, which is why I would probably default to Cryptic Insignia rather than Gift of the Nine, because Gift of the Nine, it's a little too pristine for my taste. That, that being said, it makes sense. You're getting it's Gift of the Nine and that whole like style is usually pristine and like clean looking but cryptic insignia i like it a lot because the edges of the metal look like fucked up which is why i really like it so i definitely would choose cryptic insignia over gift of the night at least for me just again like i said it just makes more sense it looks more lived in which is why i really like it so just imagine all this with cryptic insignia and it would actually look really really cool as for the next set we're going to be using the veteran legend grass for this one the helmet's going to be parade mask for the chest piece specifically the exotic we're going to be using the girl falcon for the boots wolf white wolf strides and then for the cloak we're going to be using Ephrodite's iron cloak so this one is my favorite for sure um so far i should say because i do think the fourth one is really cool as well but this one is super dope the only thing i would switch out would be the helmet i think the helmet is really cool it just doesn't really make sense with this set personally and it takes a lot of the off colors which is not a bad thing i mean the helmet and the arms take off colors but this one more so and again i don't think a glow would be good for this set just because everything is not glowing and having the helmet glow just doesn't make sense that being said it is metal as fuck for just like two slits of the the eyes being glowing so there is a a caveat to that that being said i would probably just switch the helmet out for like something that looks a little bit more warrior-esque rather than this again i'm not saying it looks bad by any means it looks really cool it's just i think a warrior helmet would be better like one that's non-glowing or one that has two slits of eyes glowing i think that would be good as well so i definitely would just switch out the helmet and call it a day for the shadering iron to seal is what we're using now if you are wondering uh the Ephrodite's iron cloak or that set because each piece has a different name that set 
is the, the shader iron to steel that's the one that it's using so if you were ever wondering like what shader that is it's iron to steel you can get it in iron banner i think it's still dropping so i definitely think this is the coolest one just because the veteran legend grass goes really well with this one side's armored one side's not but it's like very like very chill it's like asymmetrical but not so much that it pisses me off because the chest piece has a lot of robe pieces like cloth stuff and the arm on the left side just goes really well with it so i definitely really like this one let me know what you guys think as for the next set this one's pretty like super cool actually for the helmet uh it's gonna be faux tracer with the war painted ornament for the arm siege breaker grips for the chest piece veteran legend vest for the boots vanguard dare boots and then for the cloak veteran legend cloak now i will explain why we're using Abyssinian gold for this one in a bit but First and foremost, Rustberry is what we're using because thankfully I'm taking a lot of the off colors aside from the boots that have some of the main color. But for those of you who are savvy enough to notice it, it's actually white. So unfortunately, Rustberry, the main color for cloth is white. And I'm not a big fan of it because I do think like the navy blue, the like auburn brown i don't even know auburn either way the like brown red color and then the black uh on the chest piece go really well together i don't think white looks good here as well, like a, like at all so that's why we switched out abyssinian gold for rustberry because rustberry actually turns all that white so there is some white in here the helmet has a few pieces that are white the boots have pieces that are white specifically the bottoms of the feet or the boots and the right boot underneath specifically for females not so much for males that's weird um but yeah i definitely think this one is super cool i am really excited because this is probably one of the best faux tracer looks that i've done i mean to be fair i've done a lot of them but i really like this one a lot just because it looks very hunter-esque which is why i really really like it now to be fair if you really wanted to you could switch out abyssinian gold for another shader specifically something that's more navy blue that would probably be a little bit better just because the navy blue is on the veteran helmet or the veteran legend vest and the siege break grips but either way i like both ways like i think the black cloak is cool but the navy cloak would be probably cooler it's just trying to find a navy cloak would be the problem so let me know what you guys think about this one and then last but not least i have my beloved this one is super dope i actually don't really like the vet veteran legend strides except for this set i think this set made it look really cool so for the helmet we're going to be using the the graviton forfeit with the regal crossroads ornament for the arms and the chest piece we're using the poncho look the first ascent grips with the break tech combat vest and then for the cloak first ascent cloak so i've done this combo of the bray tech first ascent and first ascent cloak combo a lot specifically the poncho look i saw um crips do it in one of his videos and i fell in love with it and i was like i'm gonna peep that or i'm gonna steal that because i think it looks super dope and the possibility of it of just the amount of combinations i can do with it is just endless and this one came out just amazing in my opinion like the shadering shadow guilt is what we're using because i really wanted to use that purple i noticed that the off color for uh the veteran legend strides is on the pants and i was like i need to use uh shadow guilt because i know shadow guilt's off color is purple and i really really like this choice because you get that really deep deep reach deep rich purple but it also combines really well with the regal crossroads which is where my head was going and i think the gold is cool too because it's very sparingly like it's only on the chest piece the left arm and some of the cloak so i definitely think this is the best one that being said the third one the, or the second one is really cool like i really really love it it's just the fact that like it's not perfect for me the fourth one i would not change anything the second one it's like i definitely would switch out the helmet like the helmet i'm just not a, like vibing with it and that's like the biggest point is the fact that like once i switch the helmet out it would probably be at that point where it's like it's kind of damn perfect dog but the fourth one is like there's nothing to change everything is super good now there is something to be said about do you use graviton forfeit a lot i personally don't i use girl falcon falcon a lot more so when it comes to like usability the second one is better because i actually do use girl falcon but the fourth one just looks so cool like that's like some like for me that's how a hunter looks for in my head um you can definitely do a little bit better for the cloak i like the cloak a lot but you can definitely do some cool things 
God forbid if we had the chance to take off the actual hood, this would look even better. But I mean, we don't live in that world because why would we live in a good world? So yeah, let me know which one your favorite is. I definitely would say the second and fourth one are my favorite. Not saying the third or the first one is bad. The third one is super dope. I just don't really care about Ford Tracer like that. And the first one is... Again, I copped out and used a set that I've done before. So I definitely will stray away from using Stompies in that capacity because, again, I've, I feel like I've done it too much now. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys coming to this point. I am currently working on a bunch of stuff, uh, some of the second channel stuff as well. We already pushed out the first episode for Space Marine 2. The second episode will probably come, be coming out today or tomorrow. And after I'm done recording all the content that I have to do for Destiny 2, I will most likely be making uh some space marine content that the funny thing too is the fact that i'm going to be doing a bunch of other stuff as well not just space marine 2 um some of the series that i was working on before i stopped doing that channel i'm going to restart because some of them are not done or i'm going to drop them but i want to at least finish the stuff that i was doing uh specifically resident evil 4 remake i didn't finish it because my one of my hard drives died and a lot of the content that i had there died um space or not space marine uh ratchet and clank uh, the newest one I finished it I just haven't finished posting that posting it we have a uh, starfield which I just want to do one quest and then I'll probably drop it or restart it with mods or restart it in general because I do do know they've been working on it so I want it I really want to love that game because it, it is genuinely cool it's just there's some things that I find annoying about it so we probably will mod it to take some of the things that I don't like away from it um, and then after that, we'll probably start doing other stuff. Specifically, Tekken 8 is a game that I've been wanting to post on my channel, on, on that channel, and do on my fashion channel because there is some fashion there. It's very simplistic, but there is fashion in there nonetheless. So I would probably do like Yoshimitsu's like stuff that I've done with him. It's nothing crazy, mind you. It's like literally just <laughs> like two pe like it's only like a costume change and a helmet change with different coloring. It looks cool, but again, I'm not. I'm telling you to have your expectations really low because a lot of the fashion in that game is not there yet. Like I, they need to build up on that. So I want to cover it just a little bit. So that way people aren't like weirded out when I start covering it more, when more armor or more fashion stuff comes out. Um, and then final fantasy 14 world of Warcraft, Warframe, all that stuff like you I've been saying. So yeah, I'm planning to do a lot of stuff, um, which means I'm just going to have less time. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all be safe. I'll see you guys later.